pilot holes. So I'm gonna take this bit out and put in a uh, pilot hole. So going from shank to pilot hole, right? Um, I'm going to flip this thing over, right? I'm gonna line it up again, flush in the back and line up to my line. Where is it? Right there. Looks good. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drill a, uh, a pilot hole in two, two different spots to hold it. Got to make sure I'm going straight down or it'll come out the side, right? Now, what I'm going to do is use two screws to hold it so I can mark the other ones. Okay, I, I, I uh, have to uh, do a um, countersink hole eventually. Okay, but I'm just doing this to help me hold for the other 10. So this should lock it into place. So it won't move on me. Okay. Now I could mark the others and check and make sure that they're going to be centered in the project in each of the four sides. using my scratch all again. Okay, let's take that out or off. And I'm ready to drill my pilot hole one inch deep into each of those spots. So let's do that. The plan says one inch deep and that's because, check it out, if I put the bottom on there and the screw is flush, we, uh, we've only got one inch, right? So, and it's a softwood. So what I want to do is uh, I want to mark that one inch. Let's get us a piece of tape real quick. And doesn't take much. Let's measure with it in there. Okay, we're gonna need all of that, aren't we? Now, wait a second. I'm messing up here. I want one inch without the bottom. So, that looks like about an inch to me. So I know when to stop, right? Let's measure it. Perfect. Maybe just, yeah, that'll, that'll work. So my tape tells me when to stop. All right, let's drill our pilot holes. Looks centered enough, doesn't it? This one's awful close. I've got that that bit uh, heated up quick. You see that smoke? You know what? Well, it, I thought the bit was broke, is why it was heating up so much. But that's a new bit. We'll keep on. It's a softwood, so. Probably has something to do with it smoking. 
go into my tape. That's been done already. Straight down, straight out. Got to be careful with these bits. They're so small that you could break them very easily if you uh, are drilling and you move your gun to the left or right or you know bend it it would break the bit all right so those should fit well the last hole i need to drill is the pilot or i'm sorry the countersink hole so let's change our bits to the countersink bit and what we want to do is we want that uh, head to fit flush with the bottom okay so to make that happen, we drill it out, and you could test it by making sure it's the size of the uh, the screw head. Okay. So um, once that's been done, we could then drive our screws. I'm not going to do them all just for the sake of time. Okay. So I'm going to put my screw in there, line it back up with the hole right there. And this one as well should hit if I line up my pencil lines. So you guys get the idea. Those uh, will tighten and uh, go below. Went awful deep on that one, didn't I? Okay, we'll get all 12 of them done that way. One thing I want to do before I actually do attach my bottom, I want to sand all the pencil lines off that I drew in. Okay, and I want to scrape the glue off. But that's how we attach the bottom. You have three holes to drill. The pilot hole uh, goes into the actual uh, box. The shank holes are big. Uh, as big as the shank of the screw and it goes through the bottom and then we have the countersink that uh, will help us set the head of the screw flush or slightly below flush of the bottom plane of the bottom panel so that's it guys i'll uh, show you the next step on the next video thanks